the first time I played the guitar was probably when I was around nine. My dad had guitars when I was a kid. He played for a long time. And I used to pick them up and mess around with them, but I didn't know what I was doing. Ended up breaking one of his guitars on the uh, concrete one time. So he said, you know, I think I'm gonna get you your own guitar. We both grew up on rock and metal. I mean, you know, the first groups that I liked as a kid were the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Doors, the Who, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix. And, you know, we both, were, what we had in common was we both, when we heard Sabbath, our eyes lit up like, ah, you know. We're going our own direction. We're not trying to follow anybody. We never have. Attica 7 is set apart from a lot of other bands, especially nowadays, in my opinion, by its authenticity. The technique that, that I use in, in uh, playing is something I developed in prison. Uh, it's a combination of uh, um, some of the modes that, that people normally use, some pentatonics, and then a lot of uh, stuff that I come up with myself. And uh, I didn't have records, CDs, or anything to listen to, so I had to go with what was in my head. And when I was a kid, I always liked Sabbath, you know, and, and uh, there was a little bit of influence there. We've been in the studio about a month and a half with Mud Rock, and if you listen to what we've got now, with Evan's vocals on it, and and my guitar playing, we're real happy with it. Mud Rock is is a uh, genius. He is a producer that uh, will get out of the band what they what they want. I mean, he can pull it out of you. By the way, this is my stage amp right here. This is where we get the sound for Attica 7. <laughs>